the world, Charles Dubois Oliveira. He know Islam Makhachev very hard fight for him. The UFC lightweight division is regarded as one of the toughest and deepest divisions in MMA. What would I say is the toughest division? I think it's 155 and I'm not sh really sure where you're going to have a debate. So to be able to call yourself champion of the lightweights is a badge of honor like no other. At UFC 280, two men, Charles Oliveira and Islam Makachev, will fight for the vacant lightweight title and, more importantly, earn a spot in the annals of history by joining some of the greatest fighters ever to wear UFC gold. So let's take a look at the two men who will be fighting in Abu Dhabi for this prestigious honor. Charles Oliveira Champion has a name, and it's Charles Oliveira. These were Oliveira's famous words after he knocked down and submitted Justin Gaethje in the first round at UFC 274. However, the day prior to the fight, Charles Dubronx Oliveira would step onto the scales and come in a pound overweight. Charles Oliveira has missed weight! This caused the UFC to strip Oliveira of his title. So it is safe to say that Oliveira will be fired up and locked in when he faces Makachev at UFC 280 in October. But let's rewind a bit. Currently, Oliveira has a record of 33 and 8, with 30 of those 33 wins coming via a finish. He is on an 11 fight win streak, which includes 8 performance of the night bonuses, including breaking the record for the most submission wins in the UFC, when he choked out Christos Giagos and the record for the most finishes in UFC history when he TKO'd Michael Chandler. The Chandler win not only broke the record, but Oliveira also won the lightweight championship. The very same title that he would defend a few months later against the surging Dustin Poirier, who is coming off back-to-back -back wins against Conor McGregor. But despite the momentum, Poirier fell short of his goal as Oliveira choked him out in the third round. He's He's Oliveira is considered to be one of the most dangerous submission artists in MMA right now, with a whopping 21 submission wins. While he's shown an incredible improvement in his stand-up game as well, as he often hurts his opponents on the feet before submitting them. So despite not officially being the champ, many in the MMA world consider Oliveira to be the rightful owner of the belt and the best lightweight on the planet. Islam Makachev However, there is one man out there that causes people to second guess before proclaiming Oliveira as the best lightweight. He is one Islam Makachev. Trained by storied coaches like Abdul Manap Nurmagomedov and Javier Mendez, Makachev tried his best to fill the shoes of his teammate and new coach, Habib Nurmagomedov, after his retirement. At 30, Makachev has entered the prime of his career and his performances back this claim. With a record of 22-1 and, and currently riding a dominant 10-fight win streak where he barely gets touched, Makachev has clearly separated himself from the other lightweight contenders and has earned a shot at the title. It's hard not to compare Makachev to Habib as he often looks like the second coming of his close friend. However, there are some stark differences. Makachev's stand-up is far better than Habib's, but he sometimes lacks the aggression that made Habib such a ferocious fighter. But it seems as if Makachev is putting it all together, as he has finished four straight opponents, demonstrating his incredible top game and devastating ground and pound. Along with a deep submission game. One thing that has held Makachev back from being a bigger name is that in recent years, many of his original opponents pulled out of fights due to injuries. So he's had to fight competition that was outside of the top 10, which has caused people to be a bit cautious about his ability before claiming him to be the next big thing in the lightweight division. But people still do. That just goes to show you how impressive and dominating Makachev has been, as despite not fighting elite competition, he is considered a favorite against almost everyone in the division. But before we get to the fight odds and predictions, let's break down this lightweight title fight further. Striking There is no doubt that Oliveira possesses a deeper striking arsenal than Makachev. All you have to do is pull up Dubronx's highlight reel and you'll see him throwing powerful straightened hooks along with crushing leg kicks and brutal knees to the torso and face. Compared to that, Makachev's striking game is more contained and purposeful. 
Often, Makachev uses the basics like the jab and straight rights in measuring kicks to back his opponent near the cage before going for a takedown, so the purpose of striking is very different between the two. Oliveira wants to hurt you and damage you with his strikes, while Makachev wants to set up his takedowns. This makes it difficult to assign an edge to one because both are able to do what they want to do with their striking. However, on average, Dubronx lands 3.53 significant strikes per minute on a 53% accuracy while absorbing 3.18 significant strikes. Compare that to Makachev, who only lands 2.27 significant strikes per minute on a 57% accuracy, but the kicker is that he also has an astounding 0.84 significant strikes per minute. The main reason for this is that the fight doesn't stay standing long enough for Makachev to get hurt. But considering the number of strikes that Oliveira lands and the power behind his strikes, we would have to give him the slight edge. Submissions This is another tricky category, which is why this fight is so intriguing as the two match up incredibly well. You'd think the guy who owns the most submission wins in UFC history would automatically get the nod in this one, but we'd be doing Makachev a disservice to write him off that quickly. Oliveira has a UFC record 16 submission wins to his name, which have come in forms of rear naked choke, arm bars, guillotine chokes, anaconda choke, triangle choke, and even a calf slicer. So Oliveira is a one of a kind on the ground. Then you add in the fact that he averages nearly three submission attempts per 15 minutes, while the UFC average is only 0.56, and you can see what makes Oliveira a champ. But Makachev is no slouch either, despite not having the records to back it up. He averages one and a half submission attempts per 15 minutes and has 10 submission wins to his name, which include Kimura, rear naked choke, triangle choke, armbar, and even an inverted triangle choke. So we're really dealing with two extremely high-level submission artists here. Now with all that being said, we simply cannot ignore the level of competition the two have fought. Oliveira has fought the likes of Dustin Poirier and Justin Gaethje, both of whom were number one contenders and submitted them with ease. So we would have to favor Oliveira in this category, but only slightly because of how dominant Makachev has looked on the ground. Speaking of which, let's move on to the next category. Wrestling Wrestling is the easiest of the three. This category belongs to Makachev, who averages 3.4 takedowns per 15 minutes on a 65% accuracy rate. And at first, you might see the 3.4 takedown number and think to yourself that isn't that high. But there are two things to consider. First, the UFC average is only 1.53, so Makachev more than doubles that. But second, when Makachev takes you down, you're unlikely to get back up, so he doesn't need a whole bunch of attempts to get to his goal. Usually, one is good enough for him to control you for the entire round. While Oliveira has higher than average takedown attempts with 2.46 per round, his accuracy is only 40%, while his wrestling defense is at 57%. But one thing to remember is that Oliveira is one of those rare individuals who doesn't mind fighting off of his back. He has an incredible submission and sweep game, which is why when he gets hurt, he flops to his back and welcomes his opponent to his guard, rather than try to survive standing up. Now this could backfire with Makachev, who has shown the ability to control his opponents for entire rounds while hitting them with crushing ground and pound and slowly taking their stamina away from them. X Factor For Dubronx Charles Oliveira, we believe the X Factor will be his mindset. In the past, Oliveira has had moments where he's mentally broken in a fight before losing. Past opponents like Gaethje and Chandler have brought this up, but it didn't help either one of them. We bring it up now because it's like Oliveira will find himself on his back and after a few failed submission attempts, he might need to regroup and calm down as he deals with Makachev's top pressure. It's in that moment that Oliveira has to show his newfound poise and confidence so that he can stay locked into the fight and not give up. Otherwise, Oliveira has one of the most dangerous skill sets on the planet. Now, while for Islam Makachev, the X Factor will be his striking defense. Although he has shown he doesn't get hit a lot in his fights, he has also never fought anyone at the level of Oliveira, so those numbers might be inflated. In order to take Oliveira down and implement his game plan, he'll have to come close to Dubronx and navigate through an array of punches, kicks, knees, and elbows before being able to clinch the former lightweight champion. So his striking defense has to be on point, otherwise he may find himself on the wrong end of a powerful strike as he did in his one loss to Adriano Martins several years earlier. Prediction Despite having fought and beaten better competition, Oliveira finds himself as an underdog going in to reclaim his title officially. He is a plus 215, while the Dagestanian superstar Makachev comes in at negative 255. 
and as far as we can tell, it's a pick 'em fight. If the two fight 10 times, they might win five each. At UFC 280, we can see Oliveira catching Makachev coming in and hurting him badly as he's not used to getting hit, and then either getting stopped via strikes or perhaps being submitted in the same fashion as Oliveira's past opponents. While for Makachev, the route to victory is the same as all of his fights. Back his opponent to the fence, take him down, and keep him down. So a decision win for Makachev is more than possible, and we can see him taking the lightweight belt back to Dagestan as his counterpart Habib did a few years earlier. If you enjoyed this video then please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell beside it so that you're notified the next time we upload a new video. With that being said, you just watched us break down the upcoming UFC 280 main event, Oliveira vs Makachev. See you next time.